my fellow hooligans. What I'm about to say concerns us all. Who, oh, in this room, has got an autobiography coming out? How did this idea come about? Um, well, it came about. Um, I um, I loved. I mean, we both love these films. We both love them. So, um, and I was watching one of them at home, and uh, and I just thought, you know what? I would love to see a comedy hooligan film. And you know, I called up Jason. We went for a we went for a meal. We had a chat, and I pitched him the idea, and he he liked the idea. Next thing you know, me and my writing partner, Mike Lindley, we were writing it. Sent him a copy of the script. You know, it was it was quite a quick turnaround, wasn't it? And uh, and then it was all right. Well, when I got it, well, he says it was all right. He was calling me every five every five pages, going, "Mate, I can't breathe. I can't <laughs> breathe. It's, it's too funny." <laughs> Meet Danny. He wanted to be someone. Wanted to be part of something. I want to be someone. I want to be part of something. Okay, he's enough on. Oh, mate. <laughs> I'm Dexter. Dex and his crew are the hardest football firm in the country. <laughs> Together, they will go on a journey as old as hooliganism itself and meet the real top boys. Is that what convinced you to produce together? I think what it was, I just loved the whole idea of it. Like, it had never been done before. And I think that we'd felt like there'd been so many good original films, but more recently there'd been some mm. iffier ones. And we just felt like, how can we sort of make this genre feel fresh again and get people excited about it again? And a spoof comedy was the, was the way to go. It's mm. never been done, you know. I think for the fans, it's almost like an opportunity to go to the cinema and sort of almost relive and celebrate the original films and have a right good laugh as well. Midnight. The original black hooligan. In fact, back in the day, I think he was the only black hooligan. Let's fucking have him! Bullet. Dex's his right hand man and a total nutter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, it wasn't really intentional to, to to be like, oh, this is like an in joke for me and Jason. Really, I think I think I think those films kind of like they they speak for themselves in terms of how, how popular they are, and um, and you know the the three main films that we 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 spoof aren't well, apart from Rise of the Foot Soldier. Obviously, J um, Jason was in that, but. Um, they don't really concern us a hell of a lot. Yeah, we're not in it. Like, you know, the, in the three it, films are the, the firm, which is you sort of, I suppose, our, our main through line. Mm. Uh, and then you've got to say Rise of the Foot Soldier, and then you've got uh, football factory. the Football Factory. I, I sense mm. a bit of Goodfellas in there as well. Absolutely, yeah, Goodfellas. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wish we were in that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. I called I, mine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah. He never got back to you on that one, did he? <laughs> yeah. I don't think really you were like even that. born there. Were you? Were you born? I wasn't even born. You weren't even born. No, definitely. You don't even know you're born. Yeah. Trumpet. The new breed. Hold your fucking name there and let me show you how old you are. 23, Gemini. Oh, he's good, that is good. Weasel. Poor bastard never stood a chance. You fucking ripper! Yes, mate! No, yes, He was a crackhead before he was even born. Welcome to the fucking neighborhood! <laughs> if you guys were to play another character in the film, what would it be? Oh, well, that's a good question. That's a great question. That is a great question. I'd definitely love to play uh, Trumpet. I, I, I think Morgan does such a good job, and he's such a funny, nutty character. I'd love to do Trumpet. I'd say, see, I'd like to say old Bill, but I don't think I could do that. So I would like to say Weasel because I think... You'd be a good bullet, though. I'd be a good bullet. I'd be a good bullet, but to test myself as an actor, always pushing the boundaries. Stretching. I'd like to... Stretching. Uh, not literally. But uh, I'd like, I'd like, I think Weasel. I think Weasel. But can you again. do... I mean, Joseph's mm. done a good... Yeah, exactly. He's done, mm. that, that was like the big mm. thing in the audition when Joseph came in and met us. Nick said to him in the meeting... To get this part, you, you, you seriously, you've got to, you know, he needs to be a bit weasley. He needs to be. Well, that's why I said no. He he came in. He done an amazing audition, and I said, listen, Joe, do you reckon you could make? Because I, I mean, we know Joseph, so it was quite. It was a bit of a casual audition, and I said, oh, do you mind making him a bit more? And I couldn't think of the word, so I just came up with a noise which was a bit more like me, and that noise kind of formed his character. Formed his character, really. Yeah. So he just kind of done that, and yeah. So I reckon I because I made invented the noise. I think I should play weasel. Dan, mate, are you done? What, what's, what's that? You're just stroking me because you've got so much chemistry. Yeah. That's the love there. Just the love <laughs> coming out. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Uh, look, I was we'll, just going to say, shh, don't speak. Don't know why. Don't know why. Brilliant. Uh, no, we've, look, we, like a married we, couple. We are a bit like a married couple. <laughs> Whose husband is the wife? Oh, 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 oh. That, that is the million dollar question. That is... uh, well, I know the answer, I think. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, no, we, we've got a few projects that we're working together, and obviously, look, if this one works, then you know we've we've got a, uh, we'd love to make another movie, but yeah. give the people what they want. Well, give yeah, <laughs> if they want it, if, if they want it, more more Nevin, if anything, stick me at the probably as the lead next time. Yeah, your brother did an awesome <laughs> job on that. <laughs> <laughs> Twin brother. <laughs> and old Bill. Hello, hello, hello. So what are you? One of your own. So not quite right about that one. Oh, so, you know, can't be too careful, you understand. Roger that. <laughs> <laughs> great unexpected. question. Yeah. Great question. Great question, though. Man, I'd love to do old Bill. Um, love to do old Bill. Finally, what do you think, if you were to make another film, would you just do another parody of some another genre? Oh. Awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Bit awkward, because uh, that's like that's our that's our ne that's our next ten films in a row, isn't it? He's, yeah. he's just, he's just yeah. that's, that's a whole twenty year career. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I mean, listen, I wouldn't mind doing another parody. You know, if this one goes well, we don't have we're not we're not. Listen, I wouldn't want it to do it to the point like um, like s some of the American films have done it, where they're just you know they're kind of it's, it's not as funny and they're kind of gag a second and they're really struggling to find the funny. But if if we can. Think of genres that are, you know, British based or whatever, and and because we don't have that, we don't have a spoof genre really in this country. So it would be nice to do a few more. I don't, you know. Yeah, I think I think Pride and Prejudice spoof is is on its way. Definitely. So just be ready for that. Definitely, Mr. Darcy, all day long. From the guys that had absolutely nothing to do with Green Street. We've only got to take on one of them pills, haven't we? How is it? Fucking shit. Don't do nothing. We are in Burnley country now. I love. Oh fuck off, you pair of now. Trick in the book. Oh. <laughs> you flash cockney bastards. Do you know Stanley? No, nah, am I? Do you know my little friend Makita? No, he's far more better looking. Maybe, maybe because I was absolutely smashed when they were standing right next to each other. They must be brothers! <laughs> they're two South Asians, so he's yeah, like, I know. that's what well, it was. Of South Asians, <laughs> they must be brothers. That's the Russian in unit, mate, eh? It's like you well, you must be brothers. <laughs> Why? You mean you? Because you're white. Yeah, you're unbelievable. <laughs>